Honestly, the shades, like, I put them on and I feel like my sauce levels just go up incredibly. Rev up those fires, cause I am sure hungry for what? Help, help! It's your boy, Rob. Hey, pull up in the coop. Okay, getting right into it, I'm taking this Trezik primer. It's a pore filling primer, so I'm putting that on the center of my face where my pores are the largest. Instead of rubbing that in with like my fingers, I'm patting it in so it fills my pores more. Now I'm taking this e.l.f. hydrating primer and I'm rubbing it everywhere that I didn't put the Trezik primer um, just to prime the rest of my face thoroughly so my foundation doesn't cling to any dry spots that I may have. I also just want to say that every product I used will be listed in the description in case, like, you miss anything that I say or are interested in any products. I'm taking the Koki Cosmetics Skin Perfect HD Foundation in the shade 70W, and I'm running out, so I'm just dabbing it all over my face before blending it out. Okay, I lied. Before taking a beauty blender, I'm taking this small paddle brush and kind of just painting my face with it. And then I'm going to take an e.l.f. beauty sponge and blend it out. Okay, now I'm taking the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer in the shade Medium Tawny, and I'm putting that on my chin, my cupid's bow, my nose, and my forehead, and as well as under my eyes, and then blending it out. I always use this itty bitty real technique sponge because I think it'll work and then I realize it takes forever to blend it out because I have a big face so I just end up switching back to my regular sponge. Also the fact that for some reason the mini one doesn't blend everything out nearly as well as a big sponge does. Now I'm taking these Neutrogena makeup wipes and I'm wiping product off of my eyebrows because I find that applying um, brow pencils are just easier when there's no product in your brows already. Also, I already set my face using the e.l.f. translucent loose setting powder, but I have no idea where that clip went. It's not here, but I promise I did it. I'm just taking this NYX Micro Brow Pencil in the shade Espresso and filling in my brows. And now I'm taking this angled brush and this e.l.f. Lock-On Cream Eyeliner slash Brow Pomade and filling in the tail end of my brows just to get it really sharp because I don't feel like I can get that with a brow pencil. just taking a damp q-tip to clean up the top part of my brow and then I'm going to take the wet and wild concealer again and go under my brows to conceal them and make them look better. <laughs> I tried to avoid going onto my eyelid because we're going to be using liquid cream products in like a couple minutes for the eye look and I didn't want to have 
like concealer a powder to set that concealer and then the cream products and the powder on top of those so i tried to avoid that now i'm wiping off the excess powder and then with a oval brush i'm going to be taking the physician's formula mineral glow pearls in the shade beige pearl and putting that all over my face for like a healthy glow because it's so faint that it's more like a face setting powder than like an actual highlighter And now I'm going into this Kogi Cosmetics brow mascara and just putting my brows, putting them in place. And I save this until after all the powders so it kind of like gets rid of the powder that's in my brows. So now I'm pulling up a reference pic of Roy Purdy in his glasses so that I can reference the glasses while doing the eye makeup. And because I don't want to mess this up, I'm going in with the NYX brow pencil again to kind of outline the shape of each eye um, because I don't want to put down the cream products only to realize that I've messed it up severely. So I'm doing that and I'm drawing the pink side smaller because it's smaller on his glasses than the green side. Yes, I know pulling on your eyes is bad for you. Please don't like lecture me about it. I already know I shouldn't do it, but I can't help it. I have hooded lids. If I have to draw on them, I need to pull them. Sorry. So now I'm taking the NYX HD Studio Concealer in the shade CW12. It's their green color corrector, and I'm filling in that shape that I drew for the green side of the glasses. Part alone probably took me like 10-15 minutes because I was so nervous of messing it up that I was taking so, so, so long to do it. Now that I've ha I have that completely filled in, I'm going into the BH Cosmetics Take Me Back to Brazil palette, and I'm using those two green shades that I had scraped out onto like a little palette and a packing brush, and I'm just packing that over the color corrector to set it and make sure it doesn't move around. Eventually, I gave up on the packing brush and just used my finger because it was taking forever. I'm taking a damp q-tip and cleaning up the edges of the eye look to give it that very sharp and defined look. Like, you don't want this blended out. Now I'm taking this Dolce Luscious Lip Stain in the shade Holiday Getaway for the pink side, and I'm doing the exact same thing I did with the green side and using a like little paddle slash lip brush to fill in the shape. After I get that side all filled in, I'm going to go back into the Take Me Back to Brazil palette using those two pink shades and just pack it onto my eye. I'm taking the NYX Doll Eye Mascara and just, uh, this is new and I'm struggling to open the package for it, but I'm just going to apply that on my eye once I get it out. This mascara is okay, um, it doesn't really do anything to my lashes besides make them darker and clump them together, and I actually got it on my face and ended up having to scrape it off when it was dry. So now I'm taking Duo Lash Glue and the Ardell Demi Wispies and just popping those suckers on my eyes. Instead of using this tool to put on my lashes, I use it to squeeze my lashes together with my natural ones so they blend easier. So now I'm taking the Kat Von D Shade and Light palette that I've had for forever and just contouring my cheeks, my temples, and my forehead, and my double chin.
contour my nose i used this brush from the naked three palette and i go into the middle shade and i draw the lines on the side of my nose of where I, and on the bottom of my nose where i want my contour to be and then i take a little like packing i don't know what it is a little fluffy brush that i've had for forever and just blend it out extra so it doesn't look harsh now i'm taking the ofra brush in chameleon and just popping that on my cheeks and I put it a little bit on my nose like every time I do makeup it doesn't matter. Now I'm taking the Wet n Wild highlighter in the shade Crown Your Canopy and I'm applying it to my cheekbones, my cupid's bow, my nose bridge, my, my brow bone, and then in my inner corners because my eyes were looking a little heavy and this just opened them up and this is our last step. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, like it, comment, subscribe. Um, it was more like a meme than anything else, but here you go.